Alright, so I got the basics of oxygen sorted. Um, I have made a couple of mistakes that mean I'm not going to get my base quite to where I wanted it. Specifically, I forgot to bring my energy and speed upgrades for my electrolytic separator, which means that I'm not producing actually enough energy to run the electrolytic separator full tilt without eight energy upgrades, which isn't as big a deal because without the speed upgrades, I don't actually produce enough oxygen to run a bubble generator or an oxygen sealer. So I'm going to have to wait until after I get my portal up and running before I can get that all set up before abandoning my base. But I still have enough power and oxygen production to be able to get an oxygen compressor up and running. So we're just going to run with oxygen tanks for now. That's going to be good enough, I think, to get me through the moon dungeons and to get all the uh, meteors that I need to gather. Speaking of meteors, I actually had one land rather close to my base. Uh, as you can see, I got the rocket out of my pod and moved it over here. Oh, I keep wanting to take off the jetpack when I'm just walking around. Uh, it's night again. So you can see there's the Earth, or Minecraft world. But anyway, as you see, I put some trees down over there. You can see I've got a, I think it's called a, a rainbow cypress, and I've got some secure wood, and some Japanese maple over here. Just to add some color to this otherwise pretty bleak landscape. Uh, my base is done, so it's not much, it's just kind of a tube. It's based on some preliminary designs I saw for the NASA pods for the moon mission that they're planning so I think it turned out pretty well I mean it's nothing special but it's neat for a moon base eventually I'm gonna put an airlock on here before I abandon it but that's that's for later so anyway as you can see there's a let's try not to pull too much mob aggro here as you can see there's a meteor right here and it landed while I was actually building my base it's amazingly it didn't do any damage to the surroundings so I don't know if block damage is off or if it just got lucky, so I'll just pick this up. So for my plans, I actually need to collect 32 of these, and that's actually probably going to be the most tedious part of this whole this whole trip is getting is getting the uh, meteors. But for now, I'm going to kind of explore around, look for meteors, and see if I can find a moon dungeon. And I'm going to cut you guys loose because I don't don't necessarily need to show you guys me traveling around a kind of a bleak dark gray landscape while I look for the stuff so hopefully I will see you guys once again once I find the moon dungeon and I'm ready to dive inside so catch you then all right so I kind of lucked out here I found not only one but two moon dungeons within less than 200 blocks of my base so I'm hopefully from at least one of these gonna get the schematics I need unfortunately my meteor hunt has gone less well I've found only six meteors in this area that I explored here so that's going to be the grindy portion I'll probably do that off camera after I'm done diving in this moon dungeon and possibly the next one if this one doesn't have the schematic the other one as you can see is up here to the northwest of my base so uh, let's just dive right in here oh and I had to of course go back to my base because I forgot the glowstone torches and cardboard boxes that I wanted to go with speaking of which I should load one of these onto my belt all right so let's just dive right in here well, there should be a couple of these spawners like right away when I get in here. Yep, there's one of them there. Let's see if I can snag it. Yep, okay. Oh, this is what I was afraid of. Okay, there's a spawner over here. I can grab this one too. So this way, I can use these for Draconic Evolution spawners, which I don't actually think I'm going to get into necessarily during this run through. Maybe I need to come up with a way to farm bone, so... Oh, Hello. Oh, they knocked you up. The other thing is, is I think they might have nerfed these guys. Hopefully it's not too dark. I'm not sure how light it is for you guys. There we go. Um, I think they might have nerfed skeletons because they seem to be a lot, le a lot less accurate than I remember them being. Oh. Oh. oh okay, so... That's a evolve skeleton. Well, we'll grab another one of those. I want a spider and a creeper one. Let's see. That's spider. Good the heck? That didn't work. Well, that didn't work. Oh, am I pulling up? I bet you I'm pulling up the ones with stuff in them. Block data. No. Can I not get this one? Oh, there we go. 
All right, so then I've got three skeleton spawners so far, I think. Let's make sure all these... I should put these in my backpack so it doesn't keep pulling them to my belt. So that's one, that one's one, and that's one. Good. Alrighty. <laughs> Poor Hollow Halls, he keeps doing that. Hopefully he doesn't need me to retrieve all of his stuff again. Alright, so I keep promising that I'm going to do better with the torches, and then I don't. Alright, so more Torchy Torchy. Oop, good, the Evolve Spawner one. Thought you okay? Alright, so box this one up. There's another skeleton one over there. I wonder if I get a broken spawner if I just break it. Do I? Oh, I do get a broken sp spawner. Cool. Now I can do it with. Spider, stop Spider Town in there, yeehaw! And then he's luckily stuck in that cobweb. Oh, why? Oh my! Whoa! Oh, some lag. Either that or some block displacement or something. All right, let's see how many of these. I got four more cardboard boxes without spawner, so I might as well fill them up. Get one there and one there. Yeah, I may have to break here to help Hollow real quick, but uh, if I do, I will just do it real quick. I don't even know why they put regular torches in these dungeons. Ooh, this is a nice long haul. I wonder if I'm finally heading towards the boss. That would be nice. Already? Nope. Alright, more more regular stuff. Oh! I don't know if I boxed up a zombie one yet. I probably did. This feels a lot less threatening than I thought it would. So that one's fine. So I got two more boxes. Oh! Hello. Rude. Ah, oh, okay. So I gotta put these guys in my backpack so they stop popping out. Should have one more box. Ah. Oh. Web. Which one do I need? That one. Everybody else is filled, so then I can just charge right the west, oops, charge right the rest of the way through. Hopefully, you guys can see all this. I know I've been having a lot of problems with my brightness on YouTube. For some reason, whenever I post a video to YouTube, it's way, way darker than it is. Oh gosh! Oh god! Look, this could be bad. Luckily, my this titanium armor is like really good. I'm surprised it's not enchanted or anything. It's just regular garden variety titanium armor, but it is strong. Which, I mean, titanium, of course. Let's see how much... Oh, 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 oh. Wow, he really died out there. I'm probably going to have to break here to help him. Uh, that's one of the joys of being ops, is that sometimes you got to be helpful. I know. <laughs> no, that's fine. I like being helpful. But I'm going to break here, and I will be right back once I'm done helping Hollow. Alright, so we got Hollow sorted out. He actually was able to get to his tombstone just fine without me, but I just wanted to make sure that he was good to go. Ooh. Oh, okay, so that's fine. So, I hope I'm getting close to the end of this thing. I don't want to... Oh, hello. Yeah, attack. Oh, ouch. As I said, this armor is really good. It's surprisingly good, actually. I was expecting it to be... Oh, that's weird. Get out of my way. Oh, oh no, 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 creeper. Ugh, oh, all these cobwebs. Anyway, I was saying, it's surprisingly good. And I'm not sure if it's a bug or if it really is just supposed to be that good, but, like, it. I guess it loses durability fairly quickly and it doesn't have a ton. But I've been, like, standing on top of a, of a thing at TNT and it normally did, like, one or two hearts of damage to me. So I've been really impressed with this stuff. Especially given the jump up from the, what was it I was wearing before, the obsidian armor. Uh, get this up real quick. Oh, did that? 
Oh yeah, a little bit of a little bit of lag. Um, but yeah, with the obsidian armor it was decent, but it. And of course, I ran through it. Yeah, I can see the boss room. Oh, hello. Ah. But yeah, I've been really impressed with it. Uh, so if you know if you're gonna do Galacticraft, I highly recommend titanium armor. It is good stuff. It doesn't last very long, but for unenchanted armor, it is the bee's knees. Okay, so we've got some boss coming up here. I'm gonna see if I can take him out with Son of Baconator, because I feel like I owe it to Son of Baconator to do a boss battle with him. But if it push comes to shove, I'll use my kind of overpowered bow. As you've seen, I've been trying not to use it too much because it really is more overpowered than I thought it would be. But here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that was bad. Stop. Stop. Oh, yeah, this is going to be fine. Thank you, son of Baconator. Oh, 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 oh. You're going to explode. All right, did I get the key? Huh, he did not drop a key. Well, that's odd, that might be a bug. I wonder if I can just open the chest? Huh, that's not good. Can I respawn the, the boss? That's not right. I wonder if there's a bug that they just aren't dropping right. I've got a magnet on, so I should have picked it up. Hmm. So if I go back out of the room and come back in, will he respawn? Probably not. I may have to run that other dungeon and see if I pick up an extra key. Oh, that's really bizarre. Alright, well, I'm going to go run that other dungeon and I'll meet you back after that boss fight. And if that boss fight doesn't drop a key, I'm going to have to do a little research and see if the bosses always drop keys or if this is, or if this is something expected that they only sometimes drop the key. So, I will see you at the other boss. Alright, so here we are at the chest of the dungeon to the one to the north. Interestingly enough, when I killed the second... Second boss, it... I... The second key, The other key just appeared in my inventory, so I don't know if that's a little bit of a bug or what, but... Yeah, when I checked my inventory when I was trying to pick up the second key, I noticed that I had this other one sitting in there. So I don't know what the deal is with that, really. I need to move some of the stuff into my backpack, because I just noticed that I'm getting a little bit full here. Uh, yeah, all that can go up in there. All right, so let's see what we got in here. Oh, I suppose I got to actually use the key. You know what? I wonder if that was the problem, if I just didn't see the key in my inventory. Uh, let's see. Dark boots. Oh, here we go. Moon buggy, of course. I hope the other one's not a moon buggy. Music disc. I'll take that. No, why don't I just take it all? Do do do. And I'll take take the chest too. I'll just greyhawk. Oh. I guess I can't take the chest. Alright, well, okay. So, cool. So, I'm gonna go take these here, too. I'm gonna go back to the other one again and actually open it. I was probably a doof and just didn't see it and see the key in my inventory. They are... Oop, darkness. They are kind of hard to see, so I must have just missed it. Alright, I'm gonna go back to the ch other chest. Alright, so here we are at the other chest. I really hope the schematics in this one, otherwise I'm gonna be flying around looking for another one of these things. Let's see, there it is. Tier 2 rocket! Yes! Now, I have everything I need. Well, except for the... Yeah, I have just about everything I need to... I'll take the rest of this. Everything I need to go to Mars. I really wish I could harvest this thing. I wonder if I detonated something on it, if it would come up. Anyway, so I'm pretty much ready to go for Mars, except for I need to get all that meteorite. I'm going to do that all off camera because that's pretty tedious. It's just going to be me flying in kind of a, a lazy spiral outwards from my base looking for little, little dots on the ground that are slightly different color. So I'm not going to subject you all to that. What I will do is I will, I'll do that and then I'm going to, I think, button up my base and then I'll probably snap in a little bit to give you a quick tour of what the base is like just before I abandon it. But Otherwise, I'm just about done with the moon, and I think I'm done with my moon episode. So I will catch you guys at the beginning of the next episode, where we'll be abandoning, hopefully, a fully operational moon base. Hope you guys had a good time. I've had a pretty fun time doing these moon dungeons and coming to the moon, so it's been a productive day. I will see you guys next time. Later. Later.